So this video goes through some applications of percent and um, goes through how to calculate things with percent and things that are going to be meaningful for you in your life. For example, when you're older and you buy a house, your mortgage is all going to be based on percent, your income tax is based on percent, um, when you go shopping, sales tax, discount, that's all uh, based on percent. Other things where you see it a lot, um, sports, if you're a sports fan, percent's used all the time. This particular picture is a picture uh, that a coach had made of where his team has the best uh, chance of actually getting a basket. Um, you'll see this on packaging, now you know, 25% larger, 50% more in the bag, or, or that kind of thing. So we're going to look at some examples to deal with percent and try to get you more comfortable working with percent because it's probably one of the most applicable things to your life moving forward. So um, here's a, an example. Um, the Jays do this a lot. They, they look at um, attendance records, right? And so if Rogers Center can hold 49,280 people, um, how many people would be there if it's 85% full? And uh, the people that own the Jays are going to be looking at these stats and seeing um, how full their stadiums are and what they need to be doing to attract uh, fans and, and things like that. So all we have to really do here is find out what 85% of our full stadium is. Remember, when you work with percent, you always want to turn that percent into a decimal. Percent means per hundred. So 85% doesn't mean 85. It means 85 out of 100. And so you're going to either do 85 divided by 100 or you're going to do 0.85, which is moving the decimal place twice. So you're always going to make sure that you turn that into a decimal because it's not 85% is not the same as the number 85. So be really careful with that when you work with percents. And then all you're going to do is punch that into your calculator and you'll get 41,888. And so that's how many fans would be in attendance when the dome is 85% full. Um, so here's another stat, sports related, Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. He makes 9 out of 20 from 3 point range. So how you know, does the coach know if he's doing a good job? What's his shooting percentage going to be? So when you're calculating a percent, um, you always want to think in terms of portion divided by total times 100. That's kind of the magical formula that you're going to always use for calculating percents. Portion times, sorry, portion divided by total times 100. So in this case, the portion that he made was 9. The total that he took was 20 times 100. So then on your calculator, just punch in 9 divided by 20 times 100. You're going to find that he's 45% shooting from that range. So not bad, although probably a little bit below what he's capable of because he's a pretty good shooter from three-point range. Um, so let's look at some more examples. So Campus Store, they have sold 65% of new sweatshirts that were, older, that were ordered. If they sold 15, how many did they order? So again, you're trying to think about so you're trying to think about this whole formula of portion over total times 100 equals percent. So if we were to look at this then, 65% um, is 65 out of 100. So this part here, we can actually bring the 100 over. And another way of writing that would be 65 out of 100. There's your portion, there's your total. This is your portion that was sold, this is the total that should be sold. Because if you sold everything, you would have sold 100%. Then on the other side, same thing, we're going to set up a proportion. So where would the 15 sweatshirts go? Well, what portion? What is it the portion or is it the total? So was 15 what they ordered in total or was it the how many that they sold? Was it the portion? So hopefully you're able to see that 15 is the portion and X is going to be the amount that they ordered in total. And so all we have to do now is cross multiply. So remember that's where we multiply these and then we multiply these. And then to solve for X we just divide. So it's remember called cross multiplying and dividing and you're going to get an answer of uh, 23, let me double check, point 
uh, 07, so approximately 23. Now, sometimes it's going to happen with percents because we round sometimes when we're dealing with percents. So they didn't order 23.07 sweatshirts, so we're going to say they ordered about 23 sweatshirts. Um, so let's look at this last one, and this last one's a little bit tougher. Um, so we have a sale for 25% off all mer merchandise. How much would a shirt cost that is regular $40, including tax? So we got to think back to last year. So first thing we have to do is figure out how much we're actually going to be paying for that shirt. And there's two ways of doing it. So 20% off of our regular price of 40, we could be doing 20% of 40. And then remember, turning it into a decimal and multiply, and we'll get $8. Now, that doesn't mean you're paying $8 for the shirt. Let's think about it. If you're getting 20% off, would $8 make sense? $8 is a huge amount off. That's more than half the cost of the shirt. So it doesn't make sense that $8 would be the sale price. To, this is the discounted amount. To get the sale price, you do 40 minus the discounted amount. Now some of you might prefer to make that a little bit quicker, and you might realize that 20% off means that you're paying, so 20% off means that you pay 80%. And so instead of finding 20% of 40, you're going to find 80% of 40. You're still going to turn it into a decimal, Oops. and you're going to multiply by 40. In this case, you're going to go directly to 32, which will be the sale price. Now, it asked us to calculate it with tax. So remember from last year, in Ontario, tax is 13%. So tax is 13%. It's 13% of the amount that you pay. So it's not 13% of the regular price. It's 13% of the sale price. So you can find 13% of the $32 that you're paying, turn it into a decimal, and multiply. And again, because we're dealing with money, we're going to round it to two decimal places. This one actually just worked out, but sometimes it won't, and you'll want to round to two decimal places. Now that doesn't mean that you're paying $4.16 for the shirt. Again, you need to stop and you need to think, does that make sense? Of course not. So that's how much the tax is. So the total of the shirt is our sale price plus our amount of tax, which will be $36.16. Or if you want to skip, some of you are going to realize, well, my shirt, wouldn't that be like 100% plus my tax, which is 13%. So really, I'm actually going to be paying 113% of my sale price. So really that's what we pay for items in Ontario. We pay 113 when we include the tax and we turn that into a decimal and we'll go directly to the answer. So those are just some um, examples of applications of percent. You did some work with this last year and we're going to be doing a bit more this year but the bottom line is two things. Whenever you get a question like 15% uh, of something. You always turn it into a decimal. Of means to multiply and you multiply by the something. The other thing to keep in mind is this formula that portion over total will equal the percent. So keep that in mind. To get the, the percent it's portion over total I guess then times a hundred and that will give you the percent.